It is a big V8 or much bigger engine in many cases connected to a straight shaft of steel or iron that spins a propeller underneath the boat. However, there are limitations, of course, and those limitations are that that propeller does not move. So you have a rudder behind the propeller that turns like this, and of course, that cannot provide the same level of maneuverability, steering, handling, that a movable propeller, like an outboard or even a stern drive, can provide. But there's some advantages to very low mechanical complexity and that the fact that there is no mechanical parts under the water, it's a piece of iron and a brass propeller or a stainless propeller, and it really is a very reliable solution, especially for larger boats and yachts. And that's why those are used, because at a certain point, big yachts are using engines with a thousand plus horsepower, and there is just no outboard engine that can deliver that kind of power. The offset with pods is number one, you have significantly more mechanical complexity. So you have a big gearbox and drive system that extends underneath the boat into the salt water. And because it comes straight down from the boat, it also has a deeper draft. And it's a deeper draft, propellers facing forward, it is more vulnerable to damage. So if you hit the bottom with an outboard or a straight shaft inboard, unless you're going really fast, you're probably gonna be okay. But if you hit the bottom or debris or something under the water with a pod system, you're gonna have some serious damage. And those pod systems are actually designed to shear off and seal up so that the integrity of the hull of the boat will not be affected. And that pod just sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Um, so it's expensive. It's pretty much going to be useless after that has happened, but your boat won't sink. It'll seal up and you'll be safe. Um, I have known captains who have lost a pod and they didn't even feel it.